driving on them haters. I'm so sorry if I made anyone's ears bleed with that. I apologize. I just had to do it. It was too funny, but anyway guys with the video in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys a glitch in shadows of evil on how to actually get the beast mode ability unlimited as you see here it's a really cool glitch i recommend you guys go try this out because like i said it's really cool you can explore everything with the beast mode and it's a lot of fun with it too but you can do this solo i think it only works on solo i'm not too sure if it can work on co-op but i've only done it solo and this works right now and let me show you guys how to do this because yourselves in your own game so first of all you need to put on a gobblegum called disorderly combat and then you can start the game up on shadows of evil after that you need to actually open up pack a punch then once you actually open up pack a punch i'm so sorry but this footage actually got cut out but what happens is you're gonna go hit the gobblegum and then you're gonna see that disorderly combat then it's gonna give you the option to pick up the disorderly combat hold square or x to pick up the disorderly combat and at the same time hold out a grenade you should see that you actually take the disorderly combat in, but you're still holding the grenade. Quickly tap triangle or Y to cancel out the grenade, and the second that you do see your weapons pop out, double tap triangle or Y once again, and after that, you guys should see your weapon just normal right here. Now, what you just did is you basically just delayed the gobblegum, so whenever you do push triangle or Y, you're going to see the little animation of you getting the gobblegum. So, make sure not to push Y or triangle as you will mess it all up. But once you've done that, all you got to do after that is literally go into beast mode. Once you go enter into beast mode, you're actually going to see yourself eat the disorderly combat gobblegum finally, and it's going to give you a weapon. Then once you do get taken out of beast mode or whenever it does run out, you guys will notice that your points and your weapons are going to be getting taken away. Do not worry, this is actually part of the glitch. This is actually the samantha glitch so don't worry this is part of the glitch but once you have gotten all your points and stuff all taken away you guys will notice that you cannot actually like you cannot knife at all then after that push up on the d-pad to cancel out the disorderly combat and then after that you gotta pack a bunch all your weapons which will leave you with no weapon as you see here then this is where the glitch actually happens so after you have no weapon you're gonna go into beast mode and then you're actually gonna go and open this door right here or else you won't be able to actually enter out of the rift down here so make sure that you do open that door and once you do get taken out of beast mode you guys will have this little glitched out kind of like thing where it lets you throw all your grenades then just throw all your grenades simply and after that go into beast mode once again get out of beast mode and there you guys go you guys have done the glitch correctly as you see here it's really cool glitch the founders to this glitch were s10px and zvk glitcher go check their links in the description below this is a great find this is really cool but other than that guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video as you see here you can go into beast mode or you are in beast mode i guess technically and uh, you can just keep one shotting or one knife killing the zombies you can shock them you can actually use your little hook to actually hook onto the uh onto the little pillars but Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Other than that, guys, we're Quinn2002 signing out.